Now at noon, Marlins opening day is tomorrow with fans being allowed to attend games for the first time since the pandemic. And when fans show up to Marlins Park, they're going to see it has a new name. CBS 4's Mike Cuno is there with the details. Marlins Park, nearly 10 years old, finally has a naming partner. Lone Depot Park in the heart of Little Havana will now house the Miami Marlins. In a press conference this morning, Marlins CEO Derek Jeter and Lone Depot CEO Anthony Shea introduced the multi-year deal. This is yet another revenue stream for the Marlins, who also just signed a new TV deal. Jeter said they had other suitors but were in no rush to find a partner. But this was a deal that made sense for them to continue with their long-term plan to build a contender. I think one thing that you have to understand is us as an organization and us as an ownership group, we've invested into this team, we've invested into this park, we invested into the fan base. Um, we want to make this an affordable destination, which we've been able to do. The cultural match was really important for us, for us to match up with the right institution, with the right sort of uh, background, culture, and uh, the fact that Miami, Florida, uh, South Florida is just an ideal selection for us, but um, America's pastime and America's lender it was a great match for us. Later today, the Marlins will hold one of their final workouts before opening day. They're going to take on the Rays at 410 right here at Lone Depot Park. Mike Cunha, CBS 4 Sports.